So my name is Jana, and I will be talking to you all about my most recent trip to Ghana. Some background knowledge, I was just there, I was there for a month to volunteer, and my ultimate goal was honestly to make a difference in one country at a time. Well, um, my first week there was in Accra. We went to the orphanages, and we blessed them with um, clothes and toys and stuff like that, you know, to to put a smile on their face. That was the ultimate goal. And then we also went to a school and we provided them with a big box of school supplies because when we went, we noticed that they were in need. The second week, I went to Akinsombo. And while we were there, the kids didn't really need our help. Our presence was a gift to them because they financially were stable. The third week, we went to the village. And while we were at the village, it was the most emotional aspect of this trip. We noticed that there were kids in there who were deeply in need. They were the kids that you see on the 10 cents a day commercials where it's like, give 10 cents a day and help a child in Africa. That's what they looked like. They, their, their skin was so pale and their bellies were so round, full of worms and parasites. And it was just a very touching experience. And knowing myself, I just, I could not leave knowing that there's eight kids stuck in the house because they couldn't go to school and they were they were stuck in the house because they couldn't afford school and their families couldn't afford food so what we did we just bought the fabric and we paid for the um uniforms to get made and we got them fitted and everything and we paid for their school fees so that all eight kids will be able to go to school starting in september i believe all the way up until high school on the last day we also went and we gave them food and money to go to the market and buy all of the supplies that they need in order to survive. But that experience was probably the most touching experience. Like I've never seen a group of kids go from depressed and needy to smiling and crying tears of joy. It's just, it was a life-changing experience. Not too long after that, we went back, visited the orphanage again. We actually surprised them with gifts and our presents and they were so happy. To wrap up my experience in Ghana, I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of what all I was capable of doing. I had the opportunity to give eight kids the opportunity to go to school by paying for their uniform and their school fees. We possibly gave a child a home. Um, I am praying that a little girl named Athea will soon become my little sister. Like, I'm praying and please pray too. I blessed an entire school with new school supplies. I fed a family and gave them food for the next week or two. I gave almost 20 orphans new clothes and toys. I prepared a meal for eight girls who can't afford to board at school and pay for their meals. To go further into detail, we made fried chicken and french fries. Really enjoyed that. It was something different besides the local African food. We blessed endless needy children and their parents with money. Let's say I was on the street and I would just give somebody money who I could tell was in need and just be like, God bless you and you know, move on with my day. I brought happiness and joy to many children's life. Being a blessing to all the people in need and seeing how appreciative and happy they are even though they have nothing really impacted my life. This, is, this was honestly like one of the best experiences and the best feelings I've ever had and I would definitely do it again.